Yeah, hi, I'm Wes Spencer with Wild Antler Creations, Wild Antler Magic. I'm going to show you real quickly on how to color your antlers up in an easy process. And it's called our Wild Antler Magic, as you can see right down here below us. It comes with, uh, this is all the colors it comes with. You've got your main kit and your overcoat kits. You can use them before or after, I prefer after. And all it is is water based, you just add water and everything in the kit you see right here comes in the kit. So I'm going to show you real quickly. This is the set I'm going to color up. This is the before, and I'm going to show you the after. I'm going to just dump the kit of Wham in here. I've just added water. That's all you add is water. Make it like a pancake batter, as you can see. Just get your antler. It doesn't matter if it's brown on one side, as you can see, and white on the other. Either tines up or tines down. You just want to grab it. And if it's on, do it on, do this mainly on concrete or hard surface because you can reuse everything that falls off the antler. I'm just doing a quick demo, you'll see things fall off. It's all reusable. Even after it dries, it's still reusable. So what I'll do is I'll just get it, get a handful, and just start rubbing it. Just massage it. You don't need to be hard. Just, you know, I'm just doing kind of a quick demo here. But just make sure you cover all the areas. If you see cracks, like you see right down in here, I'm going to show you the cracks. You know, just kind of get it and just rub into that crack. Rub into them cracks. The, the wham is fine enough that it will go in there and seep into it to where you really ain't going to see it. And just go through and just fully cover the whole antler. Clear out to the ivory points on your elk and even on your deer. Just cover the whole antler. Doesn't need to be thick. Just as long as you can see that you've covered the antler and massaged it in good, you can kind of tell how I'm rubbing like this. You can kind of see like that yellowish, whitish look underneath. Just rub it in. And when you get down here, down around your G1, G2, don't worry about your burr. Just rub it down around all the burr. Try to coat a little more as you get a little more on your deer and elk, a little more mass and more bump growth and everything. Just rub it out onto all your points. Your ivory points, you don't need to massage too much because you're going to be taking mostly made of that off of there to give it the ivory look, the white tip look, or some of you may call it. And that's about it on the main coat. And you just set and Go back around, hit it real quick. Double check, make sure you got everything covered. And that's it. That's your main base coat of wham. It's a dirty job, but like Mike Grow would say, someone's got to do it. You can see how it's drying up on here. You can see the wet spots and everything. The hotter it is, the windier it is, the faster it will dry. If you have to use a blow dryer, that works too. You can do it indoors. There ain't no fumes. There ain't nothing like that. You can see it's just drying. Okay, now the antler has been setting for 15, 20 minutes. You can see how just lightly with the brush that comes in the kit. Over time, you'd have to replace it. Like I said, it just comes with the kit. You just lightly come off. You can see everything's staying here. It's all reusable. All reusable. Just rub up on everywhere. Just lightly hit over it. You don't need to be spectacular. The biggest part is right down around here by the burr. Right, well, I just got this uh, all cleared off. You can see the wham still on the table, which is reusable. With the br wire brush, got all the cracks out. I'll take the steel wool that just comes in with it. And I'll just lightly hit over, as you can see. It's bringing out the, all the ivory points. Just lightly hit over all your bumps around the burr. You can see it already coming out. Other than the color, you're probably thinking, well, it looks kind of light brown. Well, that's a later on process. We'll show you the full color. This is just the prep. This is more or less taping off your room to paint. Is all you're doing. All right, now that we got the main coat done on the antler with the main bag of wham, you're going to just use, get a little bit, this is your black, what comes, a little bag, just keep that dry, and this is your red, 
that comes in there. Like I said, your deer is ma the gray is mainly for a deer, but you can use it on the elk, your preference. Instead of watering, adding water to this wham, all I'll do is use the cloth. You can go over and wipe off any steel wool that may be on it. Just get your da antler damp, your rag damp, and I'm gonna start with a little bit of the red because the dark, the black was a little darker. So I need to blend this front end to match. So I'm just gonna get the wet rag. I'm just gonna damp it in there, and I'm just gonna rub it. Okay. Now I'm not gonna rub it in. You have to get a little wetter. You have to. I'm not. Hit, I'm not hitting it like I did with the main wham. I'm just hit missing it. If you notice. So I just want. I want to go clear out the ivory points. I just want to hit it, miss it, kind of blend it, coming down into the antler. Now that we just did the red, I'm gonna come back to blend in. As you can see, it's got a darker color on the back, like most elk do. You can see the red. So I'm gonna hit it with the black. I'm just gonna damp this rag again. And just get a little bit on here. I'm just gonna hit and miss it again. As you can see around the burr, how that could really bring him back. The color, that's why it's bringing back bone. The logo. And this, like I said, is just like the red. You don't need to cover the full antler. And if you want it darker and darker, you can just get a little drier and rub it in a little harder. All right, now everything's dry. We got all the coats on. Just gonna light, you're gonna hit it with, you can use any rag. The one just comes with it, with the kit. Just any rag. Just go over and just rub off any excess wham. Okay, so there you got that. Then I'll just go real quick Throw the antler at the steel wall, lighten up these ivory points, especially on elk, a little bit on deer. A lot of deer I see really don't have a lot of color points unless they're desert bucks. You can see how quickly you'll go through, especially on an elk on your steel wall. You just rub everything down. Just a damp cloth, I'm using the wide end. You can do this with old English furniture polish if you want, like I stated before. Spray your antler to see what your color's coming out, or you can do it with a damp cloth. If you don't like it, you can either wash it off, or you can darken it more. But if you just hit it, you can see the color come out just like that. Just a white. That was white. If you go on the back, that was the brown. Just kind of go around the antler. You can see the full color depredation coming out. Get your shellac here. Break. Paint. You just hit it. And there you go. Slightly hit your antler. Give it a nice smooth coat. Don't need to be heavy. Dries pretty quick. Doing the brown side here that was brown, tines down, I mean tines up, but on the ground as it was found. Now we're going to turn to the front that was whammed, and you can see which was white it's coming out. Burr a little bit. Okay, you're on. All right. Well, here's the after. 
of the sheds. They were both tines up sheds, wide on the inside, you can see here. And the natural brown on the back, which got darkened up with the lamb along with it. You can see how the lamb worked and turned out. actual work the process on these was on both sides was I'd say half hour to 45 minutes wish it would have been a warmer day the warmer the better drying time was the downtime this is the final product